YouTube, how's it going? The Goat House is back. Jadeveon Clowney, the free agent we're talking about today. There's a lot of teams up on the board. Everyone's dying to get the best pass rush possible to take that next step. So a lot of these teams could be interested in Jadeveon Clowney. We're going to find out today where he's going to go, remove teams one by one, so we're left with the the answer, the final answer. Uh, before we start removing teams, we have two channels. Please subscribe to both. We have a newer channel, the Goat House Plus. You'll find a link in the description in the comments. Would really appreciate it if you subscribe, trying to get the subscriber rate to match on both the channels. We have a Twitter and Instagram, daily NFL posts, always talking NFL and answering NFL questions on the Twitter. So go follow those. You'll find the link down below. And then something new that we recently started is the Goat House Podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. You'll find the link down below for that as well, as well as our Patreon where you can get the podcast in video form and extra NFL content. A lot going on here at the Goat House. We got you. We got you. Um, but I mean, where do we even start? I can start easy. Is easy. It, is it wait first? Is it Jadavion or is it Jadavion? Jadav Jadavion. It's spelled Jadavion. We got J- half the league calling him Jadavion. That's all the league does. They just love changing names. Mm. Like, yeah. Why don't you just ask the player and then just. Everyone just says it the same. I've been hearing Jadevion lately. Well, they did it with uh, Mitch Trubisky, and he said he wanted to be called Mitchell. But and they still do it. Mitch. They still do it. Mr. Biscuit. Mr. Biscuit. Mm-hmm. Um, you said it was easy. Yeah, take Houston off. They didn't want to give him. They didn't want to pay up. Yeah, before. the graphics guy was trying to get sneaky with us. Right. But, yeah. They didn't want to pay up before. They're not going to pay up <laughs> It'd now. It would be pretty funny if they paid up now, though. It would be very funny and very would not make any sense. Do you think the contract comes with an apology letter, too? Like, hey, man, it would have like, to. sorry. Yada, yada, We're yada, sorry. Yada. I just I love you and I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, you can move the Falcons as well. They're in uh, cap space hell. So uh, whoa, yeah, that's, yeah. that's one way to put it. They would love them though. They would. They, they would. They them, sure would. But they would love a lot of their players back. Actually, after that that last couple of seasons, yeah, I don't yeah, know about that. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take off the Patriots. Uh. I think they're going to be in cap space hell. Mm. And, you know, they got a lot of their own players assigned, unless they're just like, everybody leave, you're gone, you're gone, and then we're going to get clowny. I don't think that's the case. But they definitely need more pass rush. They started the year off pretty good pass rush-wise, and then it kind of it was surprising. Then it kind of – it was still solid, but you definitely want it to be better for – you know, what's the most important thing in football? Quarterback play, and then you can argue second is pass rush or offensive line play. Um, so that's why all these teams are – I mean – Look what the Niners did too, and where they got to. I think these teams will be dying. They're, every year they're dying to get more pass rush, but I think now more than ever, um, Patriots. Unfortunately, I don't think it happens. Interesting. Uh, let's get rid of. Let's get rid of the boys, the Cowboys. The Cowboys. Mm-hmm. I think uh, again they have. They have. I mean, they do have a good amount of cash space, but they have to spend a lot of money. Um, with Dak, Amari, Byron Jones, possibly. I think they already have a lot invested already on for like their defense too. A lot of money um, with Demarcus Lawrence, and then they got to they got to pay Van Der Esch, and they got to pay Jalen Smith. I think they did pay Jalen Smith, right? Didn't they? Oh yeah, he's extended. extended. Yeah, so I mean, it's I think they already have too much invested. You have to. You got. I mean, you got to. The only way you're going to be successful is if you build through the draft and and. Get some guys, some rookies, some young guys on their rookie deals, and that's how you win. You can't just invest all your money on one side of the ball. All right. All right, go ahead and take off those uh, New York Jets. Taking off the Jets. They need pass rush they to make do. this. I if just they do. I think they're appealing. Um, okay. I mean, let me, let me give you this, though. If this team adds pass rush, maybe a corner, I'm talking elite defense possibly. Elite. I mean, you have a safety duo. You right. have that defensive line. You have the inside linebacker. When you're looking at a you, team as a whole, you want to be on a good team. It's not just on an defense. elite defense. It's an appealing. I mean, Adam Gase really isn't that appealing. Right. But the defense. The is, smelling salts are off. Those are yeah. appealing. You can get those anywhere. You can get those at Walgreens. Can you really? Yeah. Why can you get smelling salts at Walgreens? I, I mean, don't ask me how I, don't I even know think you get those at Sporting <laughs> How do you know this? Don't next. All right, Danny, who do you want to take off the board here? Um, I don't know, man. A lot of good you, options. You have to come back to me. No, whoa, that's Can, not how is this that works. in the rule book? All right, I'll go. I'll yeah, go. So. Let's get rid of. Thanks, Pete. Thanks, Pete. Let's get rid of the Ravens. The uh, Ravens. I think the Ravens just do a great job of 
drafting, um, especially edge rush, um, and they just keep producing a lot of talent there. Uh, I don't think they're going to need to need to spend all that money for Clowney. But if they let Judon walk, they go the Clowney route. It's possible. It they don't have the most cap space, though. But it's an appealing team. Uh, let's see. I'm going to... I'm gonna go ahead, and you know I like. Let me let me just say I like the AFC South teams. Why? Because I think they're all. I think he can fit all of them. I mean, he fits pretty much any defense. He can play end in either scheme, in my opinion, uh, or outside linebacker in three four or end in a four three. Uh, but the reason I like the AFC South teams is because when he was traded, he was traded a lot less than what he thought we he would go for. Um, and that kind of tells us some of these other teams weren't really that interested. But what we don't know is the interest of the AFC South teams because the Texans were just not going to trade him to an AFC South rival. So those teams probably didn't even call. So those teams might have been higher on him than, we'll say, the Seahawks who, who gave up. Well, what they gave up was third-round pick plus, and it's not, not that much. So I do like the AFC, the AFC South teams but uh, uh, because they could have more interest than we think. But... I'm going to have to take off the Jags. I would love him opposite of Josh Allen, letting Gakwe go. I would I would actually think that's a win for the Jags. Uh, but a little tight on the cap space. They're going to make some cuts. You know, Darius not going to be back. That saves like $20 million. Um, So they actually may have the space. And I, I, I like him better than Gakwe. Like I said, I think he's more of a pair with Josh Allen opposite of him. Um, so I would love that for the Jags. I, I just don't think it happens. I, okay, I'm ready. I'm You're ready. ready? I'm going to take the Bears off. Taking the Bears off. I think the Bears would absolutely love him, and uh, it'd be quite the uh, defensive line with uh, Keem Hicks, Khalil Mack, Jadavion Clowney, but uh, Cap's a little tight. I don't think that's the route they're going to go. Wrong road. That, yeah, that would be that would be scary, though. That would easily probably be the best line in football. Yeah. At least on paper. I can't argue that. Yeah. Obviously on paper. I think they're going to definitely go for a free agent. I don't think it's going to be, you know. That much money? That much money. But what if you're one signing away from the best line in football? Give you, some, give you something to think about. I mean, they should definitely have but a there conversation are some, with them. There are some teams, people that aren't as high on Clowney. Because, I mean, if you look at his, I'm not a big stats guy. But if you look at the sack numbers, you wish there was more. You know, to me, he faces double teams. He gets pressure. He's elite in stopping the run as an edge rusher. So I like him. But some teams, yeah, they they some teams won't pay him for what he wants, which is pretty much top dollar for, He's for pass it. rush. He's gonna give it. Somebody should give it to him. But who's it gonna be? And uh-huh. it's my turn. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Go ahead and take these Raiders off. Taking the Raiders off. I just think that the Raiders kind of. They may like their young duo. They like their young duo. They're, they're rumored into some like big offensive names free agent-wise, and I think that Mayock's doing a nice job drafting there. I, I think Clowney's kind of a Mayock guy, though. Like, that's he is pretty, definitely he fits the Mayock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that's kind of like yeah. he'd be definitely be high on him. Um, but I'm just and saying they would get better. Yeah, that, that's the thing, though. They got Cleveland Farrell, Max Crosby. Really, Max Crosby was the better one rookie year, which was kind of surprising. Um so you can develop that duo, but at the same time, you can't be afraid to get better. You get better at Clowney, so that's why it's possible. But, yeah, it makes sense to take him off here. I think some of these other teams are more likely. Um, let's see here. Am I going? You, you can go ahead. Unfortunately, I'm going to take my Titans off. Ooh, tighten down. It's tough. I think it would be a great fit. I know Vrabel coached him up. Um, we would love to have him, but there's just too many. We have too many freeds of our, of our own. Um, I just – it's just it's just hard to see what they're gonna do like cap space. Hey, to interrupt you, but I, I've got to move the bills over a little bit. Oh, no, throw me off. Okay, yeah, throw me off. Go ahead. <laughs> um, who am I gonna take off? Who am I gonna take off here? Uh, I'm gonna take off. I'll take off the Cardinals. I mean, imagine him with Chandler Jones. Yeah, that's what I was Woo. thinking. That that's exactly what I was thinking. But uh, uh, let's get him off the board here. I, I just like some of the other teams a little better. I think you can fit with them. Yeah, opposite of Chandler Jones. They have some cap space. I think they'll look to maybe complete the offensive line in free agency. And they could do both, really. Um, but he did say he want. I mean, he's, he's, he's a strange one because he wants, like, the top – like, he's demanded this this amount of money, but he's also come out and said, like, he wants a contender. Like, he needs a contender. Well, all right. Well, I can already take off the team then. Yeah, but which one is it? Does he, he can't really have both. Maybe he can. Well, I've heard this. I've heard this before. You're what? That – 
the the I want money yet I want to compete, they ultimately always go with the money. Do they? Always. All right, so so that kind of just I just backed myself out of it, but <laughs> I backed you myself your way out. Well, of yeah, that take one. the Dolphins off. I know they were really they were like trying to trade for him um, when he, earlier I guess last year when he was available, but I don't know. I think he like you said. I think he's going to value. Um, he's going to take the highest that a com- contender will so get. So a little him. less right. from a better There's team. going to be a team like the Dolphins who are going to come and offer him crazy money, but if I'm Clowney, I'm going to take a little less, a little less to go play and be competitive. Yeah, I mean, the Dolphins have a ton of cap, and their draft right. picks tell us you know, they're probably going to take a quarterback. They may take some offensive line. I, I like the younger offensive linemen, too. I like the draft offensive linemen. So they, they really, if they should spend big somewhere, it, it's right here. So... I think it's very possible. They, that they can, can give them everything. Yeah, I'm not I, denying. I that. think that's possible, but uh, you know, my my pick's still up here. My picks, even though I like the Dolphins, my pick is still up here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, and, and I don't know if it's my turn or not, but I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the Browns. If they cut, I think they should cut Olivier Vernon. Uh, I think he's getting paid way too much. He's way too much of a cap hit this year. He's mediocre these days. Oh, it's mediocre! Harsh, wow, he's not he's not good anymore. Whoa, and definitely overpaid. Wow, he wasn't Whoa. good the last couple years in the Giants either. Wow, wow, the trade wasn't bad. I think it was kind of a rental. Wow, we'll see if they cut him. Uh, I mean, imagine Clowney opposite of Miles Garrett. Like if Miles Garrett, you know, he rips just, somebody's helmet off and hits put the it guy down. and suspended, you still got Clowney. You know, you don't need Olivia Vernon trying to carry the load. You mm. know, big difference. Mm. Uh, so. That would be, and they have the cap space, even if they don't cut Vernon, but they, I would you know, strongly recommend that they cut him to have more cap space. So it's very possible. I think compared to some of these other teams, I think some things need to happen first, and they could be looking to target elsewhere, I, I guess, um, with their priorities. So we're left with four teams. I'm going to drop the Giants. Mm-hmm. The Giants are rumored to be highly interested. I feel like if he, yeah, the Giants might be interested, but Jadevian has to be interested as well. True. I think uh, they're still rebuilding. I don't think they're ready to be competing yet. They're going to take a step up. No, they're, they're definitely going to take a step up, but, I mean, they were still one of the worst teams. That's so, because they were. They had a lot of strange things going they had on. Eli I think, I think, yeah, I, I just don't see him going there. Okay. okay. Go ahead and take these bills off for me. Taking the bills off. I, I love Let me leave fit. you with this, though. The Bills are an elite defense with pass rush. Okay, that would that's a that'd be incredible if yeah. they somehow pulled it off. But I think that if I'm the Bills, you have an elite defense already. Yourself. I'm not calling it elite. I don't think anybody was elite last year. Could they be elite this year? Uh, but we'll they say need, they potential. need to get the pass rush. Yeah, they have potential without adding anybody. What's to be crazy? Elite. What's like good thing is that they were like top tier without having them you know i mean they had it but not as much of it you know the most important thing on the defense pass rush so that's pretty amazing like mm-hmm. if they had a guy like Clowney, i mean this is this we're talking the best defense in football i think oh yep. easily. easily easily so the mm-hmm. and the bills have the cap space they do i'm not denying that they could go with other pass rushers though too and there's always other pass rushers mm-hmm. um we're left with two teams Does anybody want to bring a, bring a team back i do i don't know if it's my final answer no, that's fine. That's allowed. That's allowed. It's gonna be the Browns. The Browns. The Browns. I feel like if they get one more edge rush on this team, it's gonna be their defense could be pretty darn good. I think the I think the pressure they can get on a quarterback will definitely help their safeties and DBs and get more turnovers. And I think that's something that they're gonna to want to take a look at. I just don't know if it's gonna be enough. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Basically, what I'm trying to say. I could I could see it. I don't know if it's my. If I'm a betting say, man. Mm. He's going back to Seattle. Mm. But I could honestly see the Browns putting going going after him. Well, I don't want to really bring this team back up, but I'm going to give him a quick flash right here. The Giants, all right, we're going to take them off okay. again because that's not my final pick. Uh, I know for a fact that they're highly interested. I, I can see Gettleman going out and doing this. You look at the draft class where they're picking early and a very good draft class where they can take that next step up. Um, you know, They're in a position to either take a guy like Isaiah Simmons or an offense lineman in the first um, you know, if they take Simmons, they'll need an offensive line, you know, in the next round. And, you know, it's not – after that point, basically, it's not – even after the first round, it's not ideal to get a starting pass rusher, like an instant impact pass rusher in the draft. So I think their focuses in free agency will have to be on this. So 
I think they'll they'll put the money into it, but I think kind of going back to what Danny said, will Clowney ultimately choose the Giants? So that's kind of the question with me. I also think there's another team that's a little more appealing that uh, can pay is the same amount or more, um, and that's my pick, and that's going to be the Indianapolis Colts. I kind of talked about this on Twitter a little while ago, too, that I was feeling the Colts for Clowney. So I'm sticking with the gut, the original gut feeling. They have the calf space. They have the need. Um, they always like those guys that are like, are they 4-3 pass rushers? Are they 3-4 pass rushers? Uh, to me, Clowney's both. And it seems like the Clouds, the, the Clouds, the, the Colts are always interested. <laughs> the <Clouds. laughs> New name for the Colts. The Clouds uh, will be interested in that type of pass rusher. Uh, and, yeah, like I said, they have the money to spend. I, You know, it would be great for Seattle to get him back. And he very well could go back. I'm just feeling the clouds. Well, these kind of situations are always interesting when a team trades for someone with one year left. Yeah. You think you don't make that trade without the intention of re-signing them. They didn't trade that whole, a whole bunch, though. Still, if you're going to make a trade for someone like Clowney, I think you, you throw him all the money. And I think he's going back to Seattle. They do have they have, they have cap, but they got to re-sign some guys as well. Yeah, I think he should be a priority in that in that category for them. I think so, too. I'm taking the Seattle. Yeah, I'm taking the Seahawks as well. It's tough, though. The Colts are definitely I mean, close how second. Does it look, though? Not, not good. Not good? No, it looks kind of ugly. Yeah, I, can, I can see it. Let's see the Seahawks on his head. All right. Well, three of you are picking the Seahawks. And I'm just just for the record, I, I, I'm picking the Colts, but very well go back to the Seahawks. So we're going we're gonna to leave the Seahawks uh, on the board. We're gonna, let's see how this looks. Just give us a different look than what we're used to here. That should be the new helmet. Yeah. It's a little different. It's looking pretty good, though. I can see it. <laughs> I can definitely see it. I'm almost trying to – almost going to go switch my pick because how good this looks. Right. It just looks <laughs> – it just seems right. I like the Colts. I like a lot of these teams. But We're there gonna, can only be one. There only can be one. And the Three Stooges have chosen the Seahawks. The so, I guess Stooges. that's what we're going with. If we're right, we're not the Stooges anymore. Well, we're going to see. We're going to see, all right? All we right. got plenty okay. of these videos on the channel, plenty more to come, all kinds of free agency coverage, NFL draft coverage. We got you. We we got you. Mm-hmm. we got a podcast, Twitter, Instagram. Go follow all that. You'll find a link down below. That's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Yay.